There you go, Hello. Ben. How's that? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Not, not bad. A little bit too medium, a little bit too rare. What do you think? No, no, no. I think it's good. I mean, I said to you beforehand, you just it just needs a little bit more than you would normally do with a sirloin, just so that mm. fat can really kind of moisten up the meat. It, it Otherwise, if you go a bit too soon, I think that the, there's still a bit too much bite to the fat, and you kind of want that to just melt in your mouth. So, um, yeah, that uh, for me, that looks really nicely done. I was just saying to Lizzie, actually, in the um, in the kind of uh, interval there, um, I'll we'll send you over a, a code that you can send to all of your um, your viewers so that they can um, they can order some retired dairy beef online and get a bit of a discount. Just so uh, for people that are thinking about giving it a go. Oh, perfect, mate. Thank you. Thank you very. Thank you very kindly. Oh, no worries. I'll up uh, with the uh, with the post today. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you over a code after this. Okay, thank you very much. That's very kind. So. No worries. I just want more people to try it. Really, it's um, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's a leap of faith, I guess, to um, to do it. I'm just there. We are there. Are the ladies. Well, I, I'm sold. I'm sold. That's yeah, really glad that it's organic. So maybe nice. then. So, so tell us a little bit perhaps about yourself and the history of um, Coombe Farm Organic then. To, well, um, to I came to Coombe Farm about five years ago. So I am um, I know you very, um, very kindly called me the uh, the farmer. I'm actually not the farmer. <laughs> um, Lizzie, who is sat with me at the moment, um, she lives on the farm and her uh, better half is our head farmer. Um, oh, and, okay. uh, and I'm the kind of the commercial guy that came in to help the business diversify. And um, and so we've taken the organic animals that are reared here on the farm and as uh, opposed to, um, you know, taking them to market or selling them into kind of wholesale operations. We've um, we've decided that we want to kind of be in charge of our own destiny. So we've got a local um, abattoir that we use, which is seven miles away from us. We yeah. rear all of our own organic beef, uh, lamb and pork. Um, and we do that from here. Um, from three different sites in the the Somerset and Dorset border kind of area. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and so we rear them to organic standards, soil association certification. They go to the local abattoir. They come back to our own butchery uh, on site. So we've we've built that, um, and we've got four guys that work out of there. And then people go onto our website, which is coombefarmorganic.co.uk. They can order as much or as little as they'd like of the different products. Um, and then we box it and we send it out via a courier for next day delivery. And um, it, we set it up five years ago and we kind of thought hopefully it would, you know, tickle a bit of money through and we'd be able to carry on doing the great things that we do here at Coon Farm. And actually it's blown us away. And um, there's been a lot of hardship that's come out of COVID-19 and the pandemic. And we feel for an awful lot of people, particularly in the hospitality industry. But um, one thing I will say for... Um, mm uh coombefarmorganic.co.uk to the person that asked for the um for the website but one thing i would say that during the pandemic is that we have seen so much growth and so many people come to try and have our product and um and it's been a, a, a really really great opportunity for us to you know provide food to the masses and and also to kind of give them that comfort that they can go online they can choose product that's got a really nice story and and is really kind of ethically sound um, and they can get it delivered to their house without having to leave, without having to queue, without having to put on their face masks. And um, and I guess, you know, all of that is a really nice balance for people because, you know, it's a tough time out there at the moment. Indeed, indeed, mate. And uh, yeah, yeah well, it's um, it's great that you're able to uh, have, have the facility to, to get your produce out to yeah. the... Well, and it's not just our produce, actually. So we work with um, Roger Saul, who yeah. owns uh, Sharpen Park and has got a an organic deer park. We work yeah. with a guy called James Wetlaw, who has a business called Cabrito Goat Meat. Um, oh, I, and, I and know him. He's a legend. Yeah. yeah, he is a legend. You're right. And we, yeah. yeah, we work with a lot of these guys um, and we sell their product on our site as well. So you can go to Coombe Farm Organic. You can get beef, lamb, pork, chicken, goose, turkey, uh, venison, goats. Wow. Okay. So an ex extraordinarily comp comprehensive website there. It's a all... really nice comprehensive range, yeah. Okay, okay. So 
organic then maybe tell us a little bit on on a farm for organic cows yeah how, how, how does a farm qualify as organic i, I see you've got symbols on your website but yeah just, just, so you know. we are soil association certified and soil association are one of several kind of organic certifiers in the uk and there are lots more across europe and the world um okay. basically what you do when you want to become an organic farm is you sign up to an, an amount of standards so that can be standards for the way that you rear the animals for the food that you feed the animals for the kind of fertilizers and pesticides or lack thereof that you might use on the ground that then goes on to feed those animals so it's this whole system of kind of from the basis of the soil all the way through to the lifespan of the animal then how the animal is taken to slaughter how it's segregated from conventionally farmed animals how it comes into butchery and is treated differently how it's packed how it's stored and all the way through that journey we're just taking extra steps i suppose to ensure one that people have got a great product that tastes amazing but two that it's ethically sound it's sustainable and that it kind of contributes to the well-being of agriculture for the next generations that come through because we're just custodians of the farm here at Coombe you know we know that and in 50 100 years when we're you know pushing up the daisies um we want to know that the uh, the people that come through that take on the mantle have got a farm that's you know sustainable and that they can continue to work with okay wow wow no that, thank you that's very that's very nice and that's really really nice to hear I, I... yeah a bit somber sorry <laughs> but but no. these things these things are really important to consider and you know agriculture there's an awful lot that's said of agriculture and particularly beef and and you know the the amount of methane that, that cows produce but you know that's only when intensively reared in a system that is just not appropriate for the animal or for the consumer of the animal long term but if you get it right and you do it and it's you know in in the kind of the volumes that you need to do it and you set sign up to these standards as an organic certified uh, an organic business um and then you allow other parts of land that are no longer being intensively farmed to grow more vegetables and more kind of uh you know root-based vegetables and salads and and fruits and things like that actually what you can do is you can create a really nice food system that is Com totally capable of feeding you know the entire world um and uh and you know is is sustainable for for the future yeah no this, this is uh I, I, I'm seeing this. I'm we've got starting... someone coming close here sorry where is she hello <laughs> a, a particularly nice bit of um i'm just going to give my brolly to lizzie quickly so it might go a bit windy but a particularly nice bit of grass here um oh. and um We've got another one over here. So, yeah, as I said before, we've got seven seven ladies at the moment that are um, going through the motions. Um, but it's a really nice, you know, end of, end of kind of being in that dairy system. And they've got really nice confirmation and they, they put on this lovely fat. And, and you know, what, what better a life for the next three to six months, you know, after, after an organic life already, which is much less intense, um, and, and I guess, you know, one of the things, sorry, I know I'm, I'm monologuing, but one of, the thing, one, of the things that, one of the things that is really, really important to consider when, if you're thinking about, <laughs> if, you're, if you're thinking about dairy beef is that it should be dairy beef that comes out of an organic system because a, a conventional dairy system is very intensive and it's not going to bring out the same kind of animal at the other end. So, okay. you know, you're, you're exacerbating a bad a bad farming system if you take dairy from a conventional system whereas so maybe, um, so maybe then a couple of like quick sort of simple questions yeah for our audience like that so the yeah. cows what particular breed would they be or is there specific so, breeds yeah well we've got um so you know two really really common uh dairy breeds in the uk are holstein and frisian um holstein, holstein Holstein yeah. is a much rangier uh, animal, a longer, taller European continental animal, and it's very, very difficult to put fat on them. Whereas a Frisian, a black and white, so these are much more kind of pointed towards the Frisian breed. Um, they are shorter, stockier, and when they get going on that grass, like you can see this one doing over my shoulder, um, they put on stacks of fat, um, and, uh, and that's what makes them taste so good. 
Wow, wow. Okay, and that's that's the breed we're enjoying in the sirloins and the That's right. Past. So yeah, it's Frisian. It's it's they're Holstein Frisian, but they are they're if they're kind of if there's a, a an altimeter which says this way is Frisian and this way is Holstein, they're extreme Frisian in in that kind of mix up. Okay, and then so. You mentioned earlier that, that, that it was about eight years, maybe seven or eight years, that they produce milk and then they put out the field for, for the bee. Yeah. What age is, 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 is the beef, do you think? Well, you know? our, our beef, so con beef that is reared for beef purposes in a conventional system would be about 15 months. Um, in an organic system, it's about 25 to 28 months. So sometimes people you know, say, why is organic produce a bit more expensive? Is it, you know, marketing? Actually, it, it's not at all. You know, you have to think about doubling the life of an animal if you want to take out that intensive farming kind of process to it. You know, there's no, there are no food lots. We're not feeding our animals grains that they wouldn't normally have. Um, and, you know, they, these guys are just out on the grass, you know, for as long as it takes an animal to get to the weight that is, you know, appropriate for them. And that, in an organic system is 25 28 months okay okay so you, you know effectively they, they they live out their later years quite happily then. yeah absolutely and and um and you know from a chicken point of view i heard you talking about that earlier an organic mm -hmm. chicken is probably somewhere between 70 and 80 days um so you know the ginger pig 100 day old chickens um yeah, yeah they're, they're living a bit older they they're getting they're acquiring a bit more fat a little bit more flavor um, yeah. And I, yeah, I've had them, and I know they are very, very good. Okay, okay, yeah, bigger pension, you know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> bigger pension, you know, they get to clear their mortgage. Yeah, exactly. leave, leave a little something for the kids. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, yeah, it's a lovely place. I wish it was nice and bright, and you know, I could show you a little bit more of the farm. But I'm really reluctant to step away from the the truck at the moment because um yeah you won't hear me <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine yeah it might i'm actually so close to the camera because i'm coming up there after that, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and i know well, a little bit down there i only know cook me cars where sorry yeah i knew that would happen can't hear a word and, <laughs> and i've got a friend that's um he owns down there. He owns down there a Woody Hyde campsite. Is that near okay. you? Yeah, I don't know it. I'm afraid. I'm not a local, actually. I'm. Uh, I, uh, I've, I've moved down here more recently. So, uh, well, in the last five or six years. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. All right. So, um, anything else to mention then about Coombe Farm Organic? And uh, I think that we'll... people can go to CoombeFarmOrganic.co.uk. <laughs> Lizzie will kill me if I don't do the sales pitch. <laughs> um, and uh, and they can go to the website. They can add the bits and pieces they like to the the basket. It's a forty pound minimum order value, and it will get to you next day, um, in lovely ready to go order. And um, and it's you know it's great stuff. So give us a go, and we'll ping you over that discount code so that you can encourage people to do it and try us out. Fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Thank you. And it's uh, definitely on the uh, uh, Age Dairy Cow side. I can vouch for the. Uh, the flavour and the taste. It's good dinner. stuff, yeah. And we've just had a few come through, so we've got plenty of the um, retired dairy beef stock in at the moment as well. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right, well, big thanks to you then, uh, Ben and, and, and Lizzie and all at Coombe Farm, uh, Coombe Farm Organic. And Reuben, who's terrorising my truck at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting here Never. smiling, thinking, get off my truck! <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's getting a barbecue barbecue for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, great place to live. He's farm infatuated and uh, he wakes up and he looks out the window and it's all here. So, um, yeah, amazing. Well, fantastic, fantastic. And thank you for your support and thanks for supporting the show. And providing no worries. A I think there'll be one very, very happy winner. Great. Uh, and Lovely. Well, I'm sure we'll speak to you again. And um, if there's anything we can do, if any of you guys have got questions... Just ping them over and we'll be happy to answer them whenever anyone wants. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, no Ben. Cheers. Thanks. One more Cheers. Take care, guys. Thank you.